हाय फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू पावर प्लांट गुरु यूट्यूब चैनल फ्रेंड इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर वर्किंग ऑन अ गैस अर्बन प्रोटेक्शन सीरीज एंड दिस इज द थर्ड वीडियो इन दैट पर्टिकुलर सीरीज एंड वी आर गोइंग टू कवर प्री इग्निशन ट्रिप पार्ट ओनली लेटर ऑफ लेटर पार्ट ऑफ द सीरीज विल कवर अदर प्रोटेक्शन एंड इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव कवर्ड जी सी वी एस आर वी रिलेटेड ट्रिप्स एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल कवर EOP and startup timer ignition sorry ignition timer uh, related uh, trip so let us continue to watch the video welcome friends to power plant guru youtube channel friends i am a mechanical engineer with around 20 years of experience in the field of power plant and i used to create small fundamental knowledge series videos for power plant engineers we also run doubt clearing sessions on weekends so if you want to reach us you can reach us through comment section and join our weekend classes let us continue to watch our today's video so as we can see in this slide there are certain type of trips which are uh i mean uh, which are going for gas turbine trip and these individual any one of uh, condition if it is true so you can see it is in or any one of uh, this is true then it is going to actuate your l4t which is uh, signal for gas turbine trip so right now we will discuss only for pre ignition trip and uh, this one gcv uh, l3 acs is uh gcv srv related uh command versus feedback error trip which uh, we have seen in the last video now today is this is uh, uh, related to l27 qel is related to dc lop that is eop also sometimes people call it eop only so uh, this is a uh, check why, uh, where gas turbine control system check that whether your eop is available or not before starting the machine so it we know that eop is very much essential for safe shutdown or safety of machine so let's say there is any problem in uh, AOP or main oil pump, then EOP is required for safe shutdown. So that is why before shutdown, before startup only, control system checks that whether this uh, uh, system is healthy or not. For that, it takes a basically IO from uh, GT MCC, and is uh, it checks that whether there is a under voltage or not. So if voltage system is satisfactory. so this gives a healthy signal if there is a under voltage find found so this uh, bit becomes healthy and already there is a l20 fdx is not healthy means there is no flame so this uh, under voltage of gt mcc for, for eop feeder and flame not detected so this both becomes a, a one part of this pre ignition trip and gives a, a, a trip signal before Uh, starting of the machine so this is one uh, event where uh, very important fact eop healthiness from electrical system is being checked and there are some machines uh, the latest machines where eop is given a start command and uh, it, it runs for 30 seconds or uh, some seconds i don't remember that exactly it runs for 30 seconds and uh, there is a uh, health check also like pressure and everything but uh, for the older uh, machines there was only gt mcc under voltage was checked so you may find any of these combination in your plant and both are the ways to ensure that your machines emergency all system is healthy before starting the machine another uh, uh, signal is l4 fig this is failure to ignite what is this failure to ignite so there is a uh, when there is start sequence 
and uh, there is a command to spark plug for initiating the start and then if there is a l2f l2f this is a firing timer uh, uh, let's say we have given a command uh, for uh, ignition to start or spark plug to produce spark but that spark is not uh, converted into the strength of flame which can be scanned by flame scanner so we have given the command to spark plug but the flame scanners are not detecting any flame so there is a certain time delay so that is this time uh, the startup uh, timer so if your flames are not detected before this timer laps then this l4 fig is activated and this l28 uh, 28 fdx is already there so combination of these two makes this uh, pre-ignition trip signal which is going to your l4 t so in this video uh, in this video we have discussed two important things one is emergency oil pump healthiness and another is your firing timer and uh, if you have any query or question you can ask uh, me in the comment section i'll try to reply and uh, in the next video we will cover this l4 pr etx which comprises of at least six or seven components so this video may be a little longer if I could cover this one. So that is why I am planning to cover this in a second video. Okay friends, thank you for watching uh, my video. Thank you. Thank you very much.